going to work some attacks from Butterfly Guard using the overhook. So it can be very hard to get like underhooks and overhooks on, on your opponent and your training partner. So you want to open them up a little bit. So you can see that Marie's elbows are tucked nice and tight to her body. So I'll take a, a hand pose and a collar tie and all I'm going to do is push. You can see straight away that her elbow leaves her body and then I put weight onto her left hand. So what I want to do is I can, I can switch my collar tie and I can take a, an overhook if she keeps weight onto her left hand. Like I can encourage this as well by just kind of pushing weight to her left hand. I can take a wrist control and then with the overhook I feed her hand inside towards her belly button and then I lock up a figure of four. So the trick here is to put the palm towards her belly. I shoot my hips inside. I'm now on my right hand side. I press my right foot to the floor. I try to get my hips higher than Marie's. I go on the side of my head and my shoulder and I'm just going to inch my right foot towards my training partner so I can come up on top and get the sweep. So this is a great position for us to obviously take the mount or because we have the, the wrist trap we can go into mount triangles, arm bars and all those types of attacks. We take a collar tie, I take it, I switch my, switch my collar tie with a right hand. I take an overhook so if Marie tries to pull away from me it should be very hard. I put more weight onto her left hand and then I catch her wrist and I feed it in towards her belly button. Then we lock up the figure of four. I want to tuck my elbow in nice and tight. I want to lift with my hips and not my legs. So the way we do this is I scoop my hips under Marie and I fall to my right hand side. So my head, shoulder and my toes are on the floor. I'm going to take my hips up off the mat here. And how we, we sweep is best we elevate with our left leg and I bring my right foot closer so I can sweep Marie come up on top. We can either take the mount, or because we have the arm stuffed, we can stuff the arm down towards the belly button, take a collar tie, throw our right leg behind our training partner's leg. A trick here to lock up the triangle, I want to put weight on my right knee and take weight off my foot. So I roll up to the ball of my right knee. You can see my right foot is now light, I can lock up my triangle, and the finish is going to be, you kind of bring your heel up towards your butt, so it's a back heel, open my knees and we can get the tap from here. So we're going to do the same setup as the last time, so I get a collar tie, my training partner's elbows are nice and tight to her body, so the way we kind of open her up a little bit is a push, you see that she has to pose otherwise she'll be swept, I switch my collar tie, knee goes on the inside and I take my overhook, if Marie tries to pull away it should be a lot harder. So what we did on the last one was we took the wrist control and we fed the hand in towards the belly and we took the, the figure four grip using the overhook. Sometimes you're not going to be able to reach this, what your trainer and partner will do because they feel that they're not able to pull away, they'll swim their hand towards their own belly button to try free their arm. When they do this, what we do is we get our right hand, thumb facing up, fingers facing down, we place our hand towards our belly button, I open up my elbow, I make a fist with my bottom hand with my thumb up towards the ceiling. So we call this the Russian knot. My elbow goes in nice and tight to my hips and we can use this to either sweep, take the back or get in, in on the legs. We're going to work a, a leg lock entry. So I scoop my hips on the inside, I go flat and I elevate with my left leg. My right leg goes behind my training partner's knees, we lock up the triangle, underhook the far leg and then we roll to our left side where we can start attacking backside 50-50 if she goes, she goes to her knees or we can go into different leg entanglements. I push the weight onto my training partner's left hand, we get some separation between her elbow and her hip, I switch the collar tie from a left tie to a right tie and I take my overhook here. If Marie tries to swim her right hand back inside, I go fingers facing down, thumb facing up, I put her hand towards her belly button. I open up my elbow and I make a fist, thumb up, thumb facing towards the ceiling. I then close my elbow, you can, you can see we can either go with a thumb grip or a thumbless grip, so it's really, it's really up to yourself. My, I want to make sure that my left thumb faces up towards the ceiling, I keep my elbows in nice and tight. If Marie tries to pull away, this should be very hard. So I scoop my hips underneath my training partner's hips, here. I elevate with my left leg, so I'm going to kick my left leg towards my left shoulder. I start to make my 90 degree angle. My, I'm in my reverse X position here, my right knee goes behind, we lock up our triangle, I take a scoop grip on my training partner's legs, instead of kicking her down towards the floor, what we want to do is we want to turn towards our left hand side, so we get either a floating heel which stops the, the running man escape, or if my training partner goes to her knees, we can go into different types of backside 50-50. 
I have a left handed collar tie. I push my training partner to make her post onto her left hand so we get our separation weight onto our left hand. I switch my collar tie from a left tie to a right tie and then I look for my left overhook. Now I have good attachment to my training partner. On, on our first setup, we were able to get our training partner's wrist and feed it in towards our belly button and lock up a figure four grip. But this time, my training partner swims her hand in towards her belly button. She wants to do like a, a limp, limp arm kind of like a defense where she just kind of like pulls her elbow free. So she swims her hand in towards her belly button. My fingers are down towards the floor, facing down towards the floor, thumb up towards the ceiling. I push her hand towards her belly, open up my right elbow, left fist, my thumb is facing up towards the ceiling and I pull my elbow nice and tight towards my hip. I scoop my hips under and I fall to my left hand side. I kick my left leg towards my left shoulder and then I start to make a 90 degree angle here. I have my reverse X position with my legs. My right knee goes out, comes back in. I take a scoop grip and I'm gonna look towards my training partner, turn my knees and hips towards Marie and I fall to my left hand side here. This will give me a floating heel where we can go into different leg lock variations or if my training partner goes to her knees we can go into different types of backside 50 50 attacks <laughs> Thank you.